Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can start your very own workgroup. Congratulations on your subscription to this invaluable service. In the next few minutes you'll learn how to create a workgroup and use the various floating features to manage members and products, how to assign the various tiers of workgroup members, and how to manage your billing information. When you're logged into your account, you'll see a new workgroup item at the top of the page. Clicking here will bring you to the main workgroup info page, where under billing information, you can enter in the basics like your workgroup name, and you can also see the current subscription plan, which in this case is prime for business, along with the renewal date. All of the billing information below can only be edited by the owner of the account, which we'll cover a bit later. You can customize the workgroup badge here as well, and be sure that the image you upload is 320 by 60 pixels. This workgroup badge will be displayed in the invitation email, Reillusion Hub, and the name will also be shown in the content manager. Be aware that your billing information will appear on all purchase orders, invoices, and receipts across all Reillusion stores. Okay, that's the billing info set up. Next, let's look at how to add and manage workgroup members. We'll start with an overview of the role hierarchy, which consists of four tiers. Every level is able to share projects and content inventory, as well as install the AP on their local machine, provided there are enough installs available on the workgroup account. You can assign a power user, who will also have the authority to use DA points on the account for content and other purchases. DA points, or direct access points, are the dedicated online currency which can be used in all Reillusion stores. A single US dollar is equal to 100 DA points. When it comes to managing individual user accounts, this functionality is only available to the owner and administrator. This means the ability to assign and manage unique logins for each user on the account. They can both also assign and deactivate installs as well, providing the ability to reassign any license to another account if a member leaves the workgroup. Finally, for billing, the administrator can view the information, but it can only be edited by the owner. Now that we've gone through the tier levels, let's add some members under Manage Members. Simply click on Add Member, then enter in their individual email and assign a role. My first invitation will be to Eddie, who I'm going to assign as an administrator. The status will be pending until Eddie accepts. Next, I'll invite Lisa as a power user. As we touched on earlier, a power user will have the ability to procure new content or licenses via the DA points accrued on the account. You can add multiple users simultaneously by separating their emails with commas. Here I'm inviting three more individuals as normal users in the workgroup. You can also copy and paste these emails directly from a spreadsheet. Once the user has accepted the invitation, they will receive a notification in their Reillusion Hub. Clicking on this will bring up a prompt to switch to the new workgroup account, after which they will have access to all of the licenses and content available on that account. They can access the content by switching to the workgroup account in the Content Manager. Once a user has joined your workgroup, you will then be able to see their status under Manage Members. Active means they are currently able to use all of the software and content assigned, while inactive means the account currently does not have access to this even though it is part of the workgroup. Under Applications, you can see which user has which software installed. In this case, Eddie has all three applications installed, while the others are still faded, meaning that they haven't completed installation yet. Account Email shows the dedicated email address used for their account login. You can also see here when they officially join the workgroup as well as their role, which can be changed by administrator and owner levels based on project requirements. If a pending member misses the invitation deadline, you can resend an invitation email or delete the original invitation. For example, if Bob was a contractor who finished his involvement in your project, you can delete his account. Please be aware that the total number of active users on your workgroup account cannot exceed the tier level you're subscribed to. In this case, we have a total of 6 users registered on the workgroup. However, only 5 can be active at any time. If we try to activate the 6th, it will come up with a notification to either reassign the active accounts or upgrade to a higher workgroup tier. 
This floating feature is useful when your project includes a number of freelancers or contractors who are coming and going at various points, allowing you to quickly reassign licenses to different accounts. Okay, that's the basics of account management. Let's move on to how we can manage the assigned products on your account. Under Manage Products, you'll find a list of the products you've purchased, all of which are easily searchable, from APs to plugins. You can also click on the individual AP icons to filter the results. It's important to note here that each individual user can install on multiple workstations. For example, Eddie can install any of the available APs to multiple different locations, which provides flexibility for all users to be able to contribute from various locations. You can see a complete overview of all of the installations by clicking Details under Activated Seats. In this case, Eddie has installed in three separate locations and an administrator can deactivate any of these installs with a single click. That install can then be assigned to a new workgroup member, Ivan, whose information will appear here once he activates iClone. In this case, we have two available and two activated seats of the AccuFace facial mocap profile, which are being used by Eddie and Lisa. If another user in the workgroup then tries to activate the profile under their account, they will get a message stating that there are no additional installs available under that workgroup. As shown earlier, the administrator can then deactivate an existing install to make room for another user, in this case, Hank. In this particular account, you can see a single separate iClone 8 license, which is the personal account of the owner, and also a five seat workgroup license account. To add additional seats to the workgroup account, you can simply click Buy beside that specific license and go through the online store. That about covers the basics of your workgroup accounts for owners and administrators. We hope you enjoy this service and good luck in your projects.